Hello students. In the last two videos, you learned how to change the subject of a formula for formulas that required one step and for formulas that required two steps. So in this video, this is just the one question. We want you to change this formula, take this formula and change its subject to Y. So I want you to try it on your own first. Just one reminder, whenever you've got a plus or a minus in the numerator or denominator of a fraction, there's implied brackets around that. Okay, so with that little hint, away you go. Welcome back, students. Okay, let's see how you went. Now, what I do first here, if you want to, you could put brackets around that, but you don't really have to because they're going to they're gonna disappear in the first step anyhow. But you need to realize that there's implied brackets around that. And therefore, the first thing I have to do, since brackets is the last thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to do anything with that yet. The first thing I have to do is undo dividing by D. But again, I don't actually need to write the brackets. I just need to realize that there's implied brackets there. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by D and multiply by D. D divide D goes to 1 and I've got DZ equals AY plus C and once again because I want the Y on the left I might as well write it over there now. So I'll write AY plus oops that's not a very nice plus sign a y plus c equals d z. Okay, so I've undone one step. Now here I have a multiply and an add. The order of operations says we undo adding and subtracting. So I have to subtract c from both sides. They go to zero, leaving just a y equals d z takes c. And finally, I have to undo multiplying by A, which is dividing by A. And that leaves me with Y equals DZ takes C all over A. Okay, in the remaining videos, we're going to start to look at some applications of some formulas that you might already know.